Isha, it took you forever to get anything done since you were in high school. <laughs> because when I was in high school, flux capacitors were part of the movie Back to the Future, and then you're making them. Tell us about your path, your road, your motivation. So I'm still a teenager, and as any teenager, I would get very frustrated when my cell phone battery died. You think many of us get that, right? Yes. So, right? So I decided yes, to go. When that happens, I just throw my phone. I get an extra cord. I don't invent <laughs> one. It's amazing what you did. I had to go and figure out how to use a payphone because my cell phone battery died, and I'd never ever done that before. So <laughs> that was one big struggle for me. So at that point, I thought to myself, well, I can't just sit here and complain. I have to do something about it. And so I did a lot of web searches, a lot of reading to see what could I do in the field of energy storage. And as someone with only a high school chemistry background, I found something called supercapacitors, did all my research to go into the field. And today, I've created a supercapacitor, which can charge very quickly. I love saying its name. It's titanium dioxide and polyaniline, all these different chemical compounds. But I'm so excited that I get to work with them and really make this technology that all of us want in our daily lives come to life. So it really was the just do it mentality.